Megan Parks with Exploring Parks here. Today I want to talk about what you need if you're hammock camping. And actually there might be more gear than you expect. If you've never hammock camped before, there's actually a lot of benefits to it. So first, you have less things to pack um, in the sense that it'll take up less space, right? A hammock is smaller than a tent. That's an obvious. So there's less to pack. So if you're backpacking, um, that's a plus. Also, it's less weight than a tent. So if you're focusing on what your backpack weighs or if you're even just like riding your bike somewhere, you can easily take a hammock with you. Another benefit of hammock camping is that it gives you more options when you're trying to find your campsite. So if you're in a tent or if you're in a rooftop tent, you have to find a big flat open area to set up. But if you're using a hammock, so you can just find two trees or two posts, something secure to attach to, and you're able to camp wherever you are. If you're in the forest and there's lots of trees, then the, the options are endless. Another perk for hammock camping is that it can be a quick setup. So um, depending on the tent that you use, you might be looking at 10-15 minutes of setting up, but with the hammock, uh, things are pretty quick to just get it attached to that tree. So that's another perk of hammock camping. Also, hammock camping can be very relaxing. If you sleep in a tent, especially if you don't have a sleeping pad and you're just on the ground, it can be hard to get a good night of sleep. But if you're in a hammock, you can find the perfect position, you get a little bit of that natural rocking, and you might just have the best night of sleep you've had in a while. Okay, so if you are hammock camping for the first time, there's actually a lot of gear that you need to consider based on where you're located. The first thing, obviously, is going to be a hammock. So, my husband and I, we both love the Sea to Summit double hammock, and we each use our own. We don't share it, but it's just nice and spacious, and we've tried several other hammocks, but we just feel like this one is more flexible and you can really just get comfortable in it compared to some of the other ones we've tried. With your hammock, you want to consider how you're going to attach it to the tree. Depending on the hammock you have, um, it might come with straps or you're going to have to purchase your own straps. So we've actually invested in the Eno extra large straps so it gives us some more options when we're out in the wilderness if the trees are too far apart we have a little bit more wiggle room with these extra long straps to stretch across a wide space another thing to consider while you're hammock camping is that you're going to want some good carabiners so along with the straps you need to make sure that you're holding up your body weight if not more so just to be safe we like to really overkill with the measurements so these straps hold 400 pounds and then each of our carabiners holds about a thousand pounds so i'll link these in the description if you're interested or we just want to make sure you're safe as you're attached above the ground the next part to consider when you're hammock camping is your insulation so we've usually just done moderate camping like moderate temperatures maybe 60 degrees 70 degrees so we use our sleeping bag so it's real simple you just bring your sleeping bag with you and you lay in it like normal while you're in your hammock and it does great if you're sleeping in colder temperatures the insulation on a sleeping bag actually does not perform the same when you're in the hammock so the insulation underneath your back on that sleeping bag is being compressed which means it's not giving you as much warmth also there's a lot of airflow underneath you so it's hard to keep warm while you're in a hammock some other options that you have are an under quilt which is basically just a quilt or a thick insulation hammock that you put directly under your hammock so it's like you're double hammocking in a sense so that's like a thick layer that'll keep um, some of that heat in on your back there's also uh, an item called a top quilt which is basically a sleeping bag designed for hammocks. So the way that they do the insulation on the top quilt, it gives you a lot more warmth just all around because you're, I mean, you're in like a sleeping bag. So it's good for your back and your feet. So it'll really keep you warm if you're, if you're deciding to camp in a colder climate. Another part to consider for hammock camping is your comfort level. So you might not have slept in a hammock before. If you can get the right position and know exactly how to hang it, usually it's pretty comfortable, but some people prefer to bring a sleeping pad. So they do have pads that are designed 
four hammocks, but if you don't have that, you can just use your normal camping sleeping pad, just a blow up mattress. Um, as long as it's sitting in the hammock and you feel safe and secure, then that might be an option for you if you want a little extra cushion in your hammock. When you're hammock camping, you always want to check the weather forecast. If there is any chance of rain, then you need to make sure you'll have shelter. Nothing is worse than waking up in the middle of the night and there's rain falling on you. So we just keep it simple. We've got tarps and we use paracord and you just tie that up in the tree above you so that you're fully covered if it does rain. So that's something to consider. They do have um, tarps that are more geared towards hammocking if you want to go that route. But regardless, you just need something that's going to cover you from above in case it does rain. Along with weather, um, your climate might bring bugs. So we have the Eno mosquito net. So this just hangs up and wraps all the way around the top and bottom of your hammock. And there's a zipper for you to get in and out of the hammock and you're just totally covered from bugs if you have that issue. So a bug net is definitely important if you live in an area with mosquitoes or any other bugs that might be annoying. The last part of hammock camping that you'll want to consider is where you're going to keep your stuff. So in the middle of the night, maybe, I don't know, you need your inhaler or something, but you can always get a stuff pack or you could get a gear sling to just carabiner off of your hammock so that you have some of your essentials right next to you and you don't have to climb out of a tree in the middle of the night to get your gear. We love using a gear sling, which is basically a small hammock that you can hang above you or below you. And that way you're able to just put your whole backpack in it and keep it up off the ground. We've also had our little dog Tito sleep in it before, which has worked well. So it's just good for larger items, um, maybe a little bit more weight. And again, you wanna make sure you have the right carabiners to hold that weight when you're using them. If this is your first time hammock camping, or you're just trying to decide if you want to hammock camp, make sure that you consider all of these items to bring along with you. It does seem like a lot, but at the end of the day, it is less weight and less space than packing a whole tent. And the options are endless. You can pull off and you can camp anywhere, which is just awesome. Thanks for watching. If you guys are looking for more adventure videos, tips, tricks, reviews, then check out our channel and we hope you subscribe. Keep exploring. Mm -hmm.